Hello guys, welcome to the Global Evolution channel. So, in this uh, tutorial, I just cleared the one of the doubt from our viewers to how to add the geometrical set in Katia. So, please watch it carefully and please follow the step which I have covered in this tutorial. So, start. First, we have to uh, go through the start and mechanical design in this assembly design. Okay, and then you have to click uh, on a product one, or uh, you have to just insert the part. So you can uh, insert the part, or you just have to uh, use this uh, section. So in this uh, specification tree, you never find the uh, geometrical shape. So we have to add this. So just to go to the insert and uh, you just find the geometrical set option so click on it and uh, you give the uh, any specific name or whichever you want so i just uh, give it uh, gs1 and uh, click on ok you find this here is the geometrical set we have uh, in this and uh, just start designing so picture so okay uh, I am sketching one of one circle so I am giving it the uh, diameter and exit and provide some padding of uh, 50 mm okay then again uh, i am going to this product one and again inserting one of the uh, part okay and uh, again we have to just add here also we never find the geometrical set so we have to add this from uh, this section so you just uh, go to the insert and uh, here you can find geometrical set so uh, click on it and uh, this time we have just give it name as gs2 and click on ok so you find here the specification tree we added the geometrical set over here so you can start designing so you can start design over the object. Uh, so we have a perfection. So we have been create one circle. Okay. One of our rectangle. We just function it. And we provide the tangency to it. And giving this length as a hundred. And trim the inner portion. Okay. And exit from workbench. And just pad it. 30 mm length ok so, uh, so you may find uh, this specification tree or this uh, uh, GS1 is a geometrical set 1 and GS2 is a geometrical set 2 in this geometrical set uh, you may find which constraint you have used and which geometry uh, you have uh, given it to this object ok so in the geometry you will find the circle line points and uh, which constraint you have doing so parallelism radius or tangency to the circle and uh, this rectangle okay so i hope uh, this uh, tutorial have cleared your doubt uh, which is how to how to add the geometrical set 
and uh, and one thing you have to remember so before starting the designing you must add the uh, geometrical set in the part okay so thank you for watching this uh, tutorial and uh, i hope uh, you may like this video and share this video and uh, keep watching and uh, do subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching this video and keep supporting us thank you